Hey there everyone, I'm Around the Wheel, and we're back to the puzzle thing. This is a game that was bought for me by King Cool, who is definitely living up to his name with it. It is Chuck's Challenge 3D. This is a spiritual successor to Chip's Challenge, made by the same guy, Chuck Somerville. That's him right there, the happy bald dude in the Hawaiian shirt. He, he looks like a happy dude to be making games. And this is, I'm not going to call it Chuck's Challenge 3D. The 3D, I think, is kind of superfluous and stupid. So I'm just going to call it Chuck's Challenge, you know. And there's going to be a lot of the same stuff as Chip's Challenge uh, with some additions, I'm sure. Some additions in gameplay that kind of, I don't know who this little purple guy is. I'm sure we'll figure it out. But we're going to jump right in and we're going to play what I think, I think there are 120 levels in this game. I am not sure, but I was told also, I was planning to play this anyway. But I was told it would be easier to use this as a stepping stone than to just go straight from Chip's Challenge to, like, Tile World custom-made stuff. So, yeah, I imagine, you know, being a commercial release, there is going to be a bit of a damper on difficulty, especially seeing as this is made in the present day. And I'm curious to see what 25 years of game design evolution uh, does for the Chip's Challenge formula. So I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to... Uh, I'm really excited to see chintzy flash animation in my games. Okay, what's going on? This is really meta and strange. You're what? Did you say your name was Whoop? Oh, yeah. This game has cheap written all over it. Particularly? Yeah, I don't think I didn't see that typo. Just because I didn't notice it right off the bat. So, we're here because... He summoned us. The Hawaiian shirt. What does the Hawaiian shirt do for Whoop? Okay, so he makes little noises, I see. Oh, I love that little simlish talk. That's gonna be... Why did you bring me here, Whoop? Yeah? He did design Chuck's Challenge. Or he... Well, of course he designed Chuck's Challenge. He also did Chip's Challenge way back in the day. Uh, I think he designed the Atari Lynx one. I don't know how much of a hand he had in the... Microsoft version, which I am more familiar with. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Excuse plots, yay. I'm gonna use the keyboard because it's too confusing to try to get this to work with my PlayStation controller. I tried over and over again to get it to work, and I just, I guess I could also, to some extent, use my mouse. I don't know if you can see my cursor. I might want to turn my cursor on, but it just kind of flickers in and out of existence. So I'll turn it on for future videos. I always forget about that with certain games. I'm sure I could have been that much faster, but I'm being a ticky talk kind of person. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's restart it and do that super fast. And no, 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 no. Okay, uh huh, uh huh, okay, alright. Let's see how fast I can get this done. Five seconds sounds much more in line with time improved, yes. Doesn't give me a ranking though. 295. There are 294 people faster, or I'm in like a 295 way tie for first with this. Let's see. Let's. I guess this brings up the level grid right here. What kind of levels we got? Okay. Okay. We are in. We are in a region called Aceta. There are apparently regions in this. Oh, there's 25 levels here. So there might be a hundred levels in the game. Um, am I allowed to play other levels yet? Uh, Aceta, Babinka. Claudie, Dobos, Equ okay, there's 125 levels. Okay, 25 per, and I think there might be something to collect. Hey there, Dobos, you look scary. Claudie looks cute. I wouldn't mind having a Claudie. Babinka, you're just weird. Let's go, let's go to sad, scared face Aceta. All right, yeah, this is good. This is good enough for me. Let's go ahead and uh, probably going to get some tutorializing going on here with, uh, okay, we get to, okay, we get to pick, pick up trinkets. Let's go ahead and. Yeah, we can push blocks. What's the difference between a red block and a green block? I'm sure we would uh, love to know the answer. Ah, yes, and there are gates. Just okay. This is very. This, oh, this is going to be very much a highfalutin futuristic chips challenge. Let's see. This level is a bit more. I don't see how you get much more straightforward than that other level. But <laughs> whatever you say, Chuck. Things get in the way. Dodge them or move them. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, so Whoop is playing the levels that Chuck made because, you know, he likes finding the new challenge. Okay, I got it. Excuse plot. Da, 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 da. Fuel in Silicon House. So we're collecting fish instead of chips. <laughs> it's funnier when you work it out out loud sometimes. <laughs> oh, 
fish and chips. You're hilarious, Chuck. What a guy. And I like your sense of style, too. Collect them all, and the barriers will be depowered. So I don't guess there is any difference between red and green blocks. Not at this point in the game, anyway. So, there we go. Yeah! Happy whoop. All right. 14,000th in the world. Actually, it kind of makes me suspicious that there's even 15,000 people playing this game. But, you know, Chips Challenge has a pedigree and a history. Uh, is that a medal floating around me? Is that like a bronze medal or something? I kind of want to, I kind of want to do this faster now, see if that changes at all. Okay, yeah, so, okay, I might go back and do this on my own time. I don't really care about ranking so much right now. Oh, yeah, time improved vastly. Oh, yeah, I got a gold medal floating around me now. So, yeah, I want to be as fast as possible, definitely. So... Uh, yeah, I'll mess around. I'll probably mess around on camera and then get the get the hints and whatnot on my own time. So let's go ahead and let's move on to the next level, whatever that may be. Pop down. Pop down for me. Okay, we got... We got... Oh, here are our force floors. I see. Hey, keys. Yeah, this is, this is Chip's Challenge if I ever seen it. So what's down there? What's that thing? What's... Oh, I like how the camera blurs out when it... Oh, a magnet. So the magnet... Ah, the magnet is like force shoes. Okay, so instead of suction shoes, we've got... Excellent. Okay. So, all right. The tutorializing is happening. And yeah, I won't worry about getting gold medals on camera. You will see me get gold medals on my own time. I will go back and play the levels myself, and we will ensure that goldness happens. Don't you worry. Hammerhead sharks floating around in the background. That's highly unusual. Uh, Oh, there it is right there at the start there. Well, that is a sound effect. Oops, don't walk on the fire without fire boots. And now we got flippers. Flippers for, or a jet ski or something. For Wow, oh boy, there is a lot of exploring to be had around here. I like how the tiles show up underneath the water, though. It's still very much a tile-based game. Don't, don't get them wrong. And we have a grindy wheel for moving along ice. I gotta say, it's much more imaginative than shoes or what have you. But yes, we have our bronze medal. We are going to get ranked high. We're going to get ranked real high. Okay, now we have... Oh, a sliding block puzzle. Okay. Yeah, I, I got this. I got this. Oi! Oi, you nutter! I got this! Who said I did? Okay, as I said, if things just get in your way, just move them. Okay. Camera vision. I can zoom in and out using C and V. Excellent. Or rotate the camera with Z and... Oh, that is interesting to know. So, okay, C zooms in. V is the one that zooms out. Okay. V, V, V. I, I, okay, I need to start this over real quick. Let me... Oh, no, I can start... Okay, I see. I can start all the way over to the beginning of the level here. So, actually, I think I might have had it right doing what I did. Yes! I sure did. Okay, so now more block sliding goodness. How do I... Good, speaking of goodness, goodness gracious, how do I how do I get moving along here? I'm just going to play it by ear at first, and if I happen to screw up, well, it looks like I have a undo button. A undo button up there in the corner. Uh, yeah, there we go. No fish to be collected in this one. Just good old-fashioned block sliding Klotsky solvent. There we go. All right, and now... Oh, now we get our first... Uh, now we get our first run at enemies here. It looks like they move in concert with me somehow. Uh, if I touch them, do I die? Oh yeah, don't touch enemies. That is for certain. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. Uh, am I just, so am I temporarily knocked out for a few seconds? Get up, whoop! Code blue, code blue! Get up, whoop! What are you doing? Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, click back to the beginning here. I might have to read, like, a hint or something. Okay, they all... Okay, they all, they all like, crowded into the corner. My cute little pets. That's what I've always ever known anything like that as in any kind of game. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, he has a cousin named Snappy, who I assume are not seeing right now okay okay one of them moved aside for me 
Are they just being nice or what? I don't... I think I'm manipulating them somehow with my movements, but... I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. Let's keep on moving. We're doing... We're making pretty good time so far. Okay, let's see. Let's... Let's slide across the ice here. Let's make our way... Yeah, here we go. This is... Oh, hey, no, no. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. I see the little corner traps here. Oh, this is just pretty basic ice movement. This is... This is nothing. I may have just gold medaled this one by pure accident. Or maybe silver medaled. No, I gold medaled it. Excellent. How many levels have we knocked down so far? How many... How good are we doing here? We're on seven. Okay, wow. Seven, eight, nine. Let's try to get through ten at least. Ten would be a nice... Ten would be a nice pace to to rack up here. Okay, this is a... Uh, this is looks like pretty basic bridge building. Uh, I may have screwed that up already, actually. I don't want to... Okay, let's not get too far ahead of myself here. Uh, obviously, I need to put down the yellow button to make the yellow po... Oh! Oh, no. That's no good. Uh, okay, yeah. That's not good at all. Time moves forward, even as I... Okay. Hmm. How am I going to get this across here? Ah, I, I did not mean to do that. Why do you keep Why do you keep uh, doing that, Mr. Man? I want to go down. Why does he keep sliding on? Okay, this is going to get irritating, I think. Okay, as long as I'm standing on one, it's fine. Okay, it's going to come back up as soon as I... Okay, yeah, I have to do the whole thing beforehand. I see. If I push enter or, like, escape, can I, uh... Okay, yeah, I can just quickly restart. Okay, that's good. Alright, so... No, I didn't want to... Okay, yeah. Blocks are helpful. Alright, and the wooden bridges are temporary. That's a nice little wrinkle. I did this wrong, because I'm an idiot. Okay, so... Obviously, I want to move this block up here. There we go. Because that one is not pushable from any other angles. So... Make ourselves a bridge, and ta-da, we're done. I don't think there's any difference in block colors. I think it's strictly a, uh, I think it is strictly a, a, an aesthetic choice, probably, on their part. Okay, so now we have switches. This looks like the toggle switches from the, oh yeah, this is just toggle switching, toggle switching good time. Oh, hey, all right, now I've got it on autopilot. Here we go. Most excellent. Let's move across. What does the plus sign do? Oh, so I went left on it, and he went left. Aha! I get to manipulate a little robot to do my bidding for me. Now, can I run into the robot? That's not a question I want answered, I don't think. Let's go ahead. Yeah! 29 seconds. Okay, I'm picking it up. I'm figuring it out a lot faster. I'm going to say, do I get any kind of medal for that? One more. Let's do Unomas. Let's... Oh, boy. Alright, this is just good old block solving puzzling at its finest. This is this is going to be pretty simple, I'm sure. Okay, so now I need to bring down the green one again. Okay, yeah, there it is. Bring down the green one, and then the red one. No, not that red one. I want to bring down the yellow one first. Actually, yeah, yellow. So now I can bring down yellow, and then... There it is. All right. So I think this is going to be a fun game. I think this is going to, I think this is going to work out real nice. I don't know what the rankings are all about. I guess they're world rankings. Uh, I am pretty sure it would not be good for your gold medal status to be contingent on time and stuff, or for it to be contingent on what I assume is world ranking. I mean, blah blah blah. I'm not speaking correctly, but I assume it's based on your time for each level, and if you beat it in some kind of, below some kind of par time, then I guess, then I guess everything will just be hunky-dory, but we're going to stop there for today, 10 levels I think is a good knockout rate, and I have only not gold medaled four of them, so I will go back and do that on my own time, and uh, this looks to be a lot of fun, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing, playing the Aceta world and beyond, this is going to be really good, and a whole lot of a blast I think, so I will see you guys next time for more Chuck's Challenge. 3D optional.